Hello MTA community, this is Madex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the nerd gaming scripts that I've released. So, there's a few things you're going to need for this. The first thing is obviously the Multi Theft Auto server. You're going to need the nerd gaming scripts, and some type of, uh, it's not required, but some type of SQL software that you can use that the server is going to connect to which I'll, I'll get to that later in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do, well, if you don't have the MTA server, which is located in C, Program Files, x86, or Program Files, either one, uh, Multi Theft Auto, and then the version right now it's 1.4, so inside there, and server. So in case you didn't know, this is your multi theft auto server you know what players connect to so if you don't have that just reinstall multi theft auto and install client and server so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open this github link and right here you'll see download zip just go ahead and click that and this will just download all the files that I've put onto github So wait for this to download. Well, that's downloading. We can go ahead and um, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and download it. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna use Xamp for this tutorial, which that's basically just a local web server that the server will be able to connect to for the database. So just go ahead and Google Xamp. There is a way to use nerd gaming scripts without the web ser server program and I will go over that so if you just want to not install XAMP that's okay and I'll show you guys how to install it without anyway uh, so once the nerd gaming scripts download you just want to go into mods deathmatch and then open the zip file that downloaded go into nerd gaming public master and you want to extract the resources, ACL, and mtaserver.config, or conf, whatever. So just go ahead and put them into there, and wait for it to extract. Um, if you get prompt to replace, go ahead and replace them, because it's asking you to replace the ACL and MTA server.config which needs to be done for this game mode. So just go ahead and replace files and destination. So now that so once you've extracted all the files, um, you want to go ahead and go into uh, yeah go ahead and go to resources and then find the ngsql folder. Just go ahead and open that. And then find sql.lua and just open that with any text editor or, no my bad I'm sorry don't open sql.lua that's I forgot to change it open meta.xml and here you'll see a bunch of settings this is what is used to connect to our database so by default it's gonna connect to the mysql which is the web hosted database so if you don't want to install any software to connect to any third party software, you can change this to SQLite, and it will actually just create a file which the script or game mode will connect to. The disadvantages with this is you can't access the database from a remote location. You have to log into FTP or go into this folder and then use another third party software to open the database. So, it is a little faster though, but I would recommend MySQL. Uh, so first, if you do want to use the SQLite, just find right here where it says value equals and then it'll be MySQL. Just go ahead and change that to SQLite. And then if we start up, save that file, close it, and then if we start up our server here, and go back to that resource. You can see right here, this is the database file that was created. Uh, 
uh, yeah, motion troopers pretty much. So that's the way to use it for SQLite, which is perfectly fine. But if you want to use it for MySQL, which I recommend, you want to go ahead and search XAMPP on Google, click the ApacheFriends.org link. And then right here, you'll just find whatever download you need. So I would need the Windows version of 64-bit, actually. Go to download.html, and here is all the versions that they have. So they got Windows 64, 32, Linux, uh, 32, 64, 32, 64, and then Mac. So I would need the... Windows, oh, bad. they only have 32 bit, but that's fine. Uh, just want the latest version of whatever they have. So right now they have 5.6.8. I would just download this, and then it'll download in a second. Uh, it's a bit of a download, but um, I'm just going to skip it because I already have it. So once you install it, you're gonna need to restart your computer and then when your computer turns back on make sure Skype's not running because it uses a port that XAMPP uses and then when you open XAMPP you, you want to go ahead and run as, as an administrator otherwise you'll probably get an error or something Let's give a little bit to start up. Alright, so once it finally loads, you should get something that looks like this. And then once you get this, go ahead and start Apache. Wait for it to start. And as you can see, it's green. That means it's loaded and working successfully. And then you want to go ahead and start MySQL. They're both green, that means it's working. Uh, if you get an error, just Google it, or maybe you didn't run it, it's admin or Skype's running or something. So once you get those working, you want to go to localhost slash php my admin. And this is basically the online MySQL manager that you can use to manage any databases connected to this host. So as you can see, I have a bit of databases already, but you just want to click databases up here. Type in a name, I'm going to name mine, uh, Nerd Gaming YouTube, because as you can see, I already have a Nerd Gaming database, and that's what I use for developing. Go ahead and click Create. So once you get that, go back to the meta.xml inside the ngs12 folder. Open it. Make sure that the value for a connection type right here, should be line 18, is MySQL. And then you want to change your database name to whatever you named it. Uh, should be line 24, so mine's Nerd Gaming YouTube. Then under MySQL host, uh, it can be localhost. But if that doesn't work, you might want to try 127.0.0.1. And that basically also means localhost. Local host. MySQL port, you shouldn't have to worry about that. 3306. MySQL user. By default, it's going to be root for the username. And then there's not going to be a password for it. But if you want to change that, you can uh, come in here and click add user, but I'm not going to worry about that. So that's all you need for the MySQL, and then if we go ahead and start up the server here. Remember, it takes a little bit to load. It says database has been connected. Wait for it to finish loading. And now it's finally loaded, so if we come in here, 
go to Nerd Gaming YouTube or whatever database you created, you can see all the tables that the server creates. Um, and then if you open Multi Theft Auto here, Then go to server browser, click local at the top, click NG Nerd Game RPG, and it will connect to your local server. Just so you can see, XX made XX is connected. And here you can see the login page, so just go ahead and enter some. Member, register, then I'll do the server intro. As you can see, you're connected to the server. You can play on vehicles. Go over and get a job as a police officer. Um, so you got the whole game mode running now. Uh, that's it. Pretty simple to install. Uh, So, that's it, the game mode's installed, you can play it, give your IP to your friends after you've more forwarded, which I want to look up another tutorial for that because I'm not going to cover that. Um, and yeah, you can just start a server. Uh, if you have any feedback, questions, comments, anything, just go ahead and send me a private message on the Multi Theft Auto forum, or add me on Skype, madex-mta and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.